morning. Happy Taffy Tourist Day. Uh, I'm dressed like I'm going to Disney World. And today in English, we are going to be learning about adjectives and predicate adjectives, as well as proper adjectives. So we'll start with adjectives, plain ones. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun. It offers more information about the word it modifies. Adjectives often come before the noun or pronoun they describe, but they can come after. They answer the question, what kind, how many, or which one? And I have a few examples here that I'm going to help you locate the adjective in. I climbed into the wooden canoe. Wooden is describing canoe. It's telling us what kind of canoe, or it could also be answering the question of which canoe. It's the wooden canoe, not the plastic canoe. I chose two pumpkins at the patch. How many? Two. Two would be an adjective modifying pumpkins. Look at that old battered truck. What kind? Old and battered. Both describing the truck or modifying the truck. So those are just plain old adjectives. And then we come into proper adjectives. Same definition, except they are capitalized. I cook on Sunday night, telling us which one? Sunday night. I like Brussels sprouts. What kind? Brussels. French toast is yummy. French, the type of toast. And then lastly, we end on predicate adjectives. A predicate adjective follows a linking verb, which is a form of the verb to be. Smell, look, taste, feel, sound, appear, seem, become, or remain. A predicate adjective modifies the subject of the sentence. The windows appeared broken. Appeared is a linking verb. Broken is a predicate adjective describing the windows, which is our subject. Butterfly wings are covered in scales. R is a linking verb. Covered is what is modifying the wings. So wings is our subject, and butterfly is an adjective describing what kind of wings. That butterfly is the rarest and largest. So butterfly is our subject, is is our linking verb, and then we've got two predicate adjectives, rarest and largest. They're both describing the butterfly. So as usual, if you have any questions at all, please send me an email or send me a message through Google Classroom. I hope you have a fantastic day.